there's not much news, no woodwork related news anyway. I did some little projects this week and this midweek video is not about woodworking. On the other hand, maybe it is. I saw a little video of Harry Rogers. He got a question and he answered it in a very wise way. Now, what question did he get? Were you in the same place when you were 27? What would you say to your 27 year old self? And if not, do you still have any advice for anyone wanting to leave an urban life? What would I say to my 27 year old self? Do I regret anything I did? Should I have had another career? Should I had other goals? I don't know. I guess you can never tell. But I think it's all about following your heart. And of course that has a lot of consequences. It doesn't always make life easier. But for those who are working in an office have, or having another well-paid job and they're going into their workshop at night or in weekends and like all that woodwork or welding or making art or whatever it is you're doing there's something you should realize that you could follow your heart and maybe be successful in that thing you want to do now suppose you would do something with wood and you would start to make things and make a business out of it and then, after a little bit of time, you start to realize that you will have to produce and you have to sell. And some items will sell better than others. So what you end up with is more or less a production line of the best selling items that you make. If you come to that point, you need another hobby. You know, a hobby to de-stress from Working. To me that happened. I started my own framing business. I restored and made picture frames and I was very successful. I even became the best of Holland by all the colleagues and galleries in Holland that are there and that could vote. And I was declared best frame maker of the Netherlands. But although it started out as a real passion and a real hobby I realized that I needed something else to just get out of that system of producing and working and making money and I had another hobby which is music I wrote a few columns for blues magazines and well we started a blues agency a booking agency Slowly it went bigger and we got a, like a recording studio, we started to organize festivals, of course the text man came along and before you know it, it was another company. So again the hobby became work and that's when you going to look for another hobby because somehow you have to have your own time, your own free time. Well, in the end, we took the decision to sell it all, move to Portugal, and we did well for, well, about seven years. And now, of course, the consequences are, the economics are a bit down, that, well, we can't complain, but we got a hard time getting all the little threads tied together. But we're free. We're living in a holiday destination and to be honest life is pretty good. Now of course the woodworking thing became more or less work again because to survive I have to sell a few things every now and then or take a job to build something or to repair something but it is in a scale that it's still a hobby. So yes we can't complain but for all the young people out there if you 
have a dream, go and follow it. I know by the time you got kids, you got married, you got responsibility and then it's a hard thing to do. But you only live once and you should follow your heart. It could go wrong, but hey, you could say I've tried. Having your own little business, as all people who have a little business can tell you, is not going to make you rich. So it better be something you really like to do. So that's it from the Lonely Hill in Portugal. Do some woodworking, it's a fine way to spend your time. Até logo!